the heat transfer and we know we uh, all of us we know that heat transfer basically heat transfer basically comes in three ways okay so the first way is the conduction the second way is the convection and the third way is the radiation okay so conduction is something to do you know uh, the heat transfer within the solids convection is basically heat transfer from solid to liquid or from liquid to liquid radiation is something else radiation can also occur in vacuum it does not require any material for it to transfer okay so let's uh, begin a slide the first slide tells us the heat always moves from a warmer place to a cooler place we all know that we need to establish delta t delta t means the temperature differential across the two uh, across the two points suppose if one point is at 50 degree celsius so for heat to take out from 50 degree celsius part you have to have a lower temperature on the other part so suppose if you have 50 degree celsius in point a so point b should be at least 1 degree celsius lesser 49 degree celsius so it will be better that if if you increase the delta t for better heat transfer so 50 degree celsius 25 degree celsius so 25 degree celsius of delta t so more the delta t more is more better will be the heat transfer okay so heat always moves from a warmer place to a cooler place what's next hot objects in a cooler room will cool to the room temperature okay so what is the thing suppose uh, if this is the room okay uh, suppose you are living in a room okay and if you take one hot object suppose aapne koi ek garam cheez jo hai if you keep it in the room if you keep it in the living room and, and if you turn the fan on okay and suppose the room temperature is 35 degree celsius and that hot object is suppose 60 degree celsius what do you think what will be the temperature drop the temperature will actually drop from 60 degree celsius to approximately 38 uh, like that 38 degree celsius or 34 degree celsius uh, why not below 34 degree celsius okay so 34 degree celsius it won't come down uh, to 34 degree uh, it will come uh, go below 34 degree celsius just because you are not deploying refrigeration refrigeration is a science is a technique where you go below the ambient so here we are talking about natural cooling we are talking about natural cooling with some forced element like fan blowers er, uh, anything right so those elements will not bring the temperature down the ambient okay so to bring the temperature down the ambient you need to deploy the technique of refrigeration so which we are not discussing in this particular session so refrigeration is again a course students uh, in your uh, it's a full time course okay so uh, you need to you know check out the lectures for the refrigeration later on okay so what we have learned is heat always moves from a warmer place to a cooler place and hot objects in a cooler room will cool to room temperature only because you're not deploying refrigeration techniques into this particular uh, scenario okay and cold objects in a warmer room will be heated to room temperature only okay so cold objects and uh, 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 suppose if we talk about the hot objects are coming down means the temperatures are coming down to room temperature similarly cold objects will naturally be heated up in uh, to the room temperature it doesn't require anything else the nature itself will heat that particular cold object to the room temperature okay and if you have to go beyond the room temperature you need to deploy something called heating heating means you can actually uh, deploy boilers you can actually have some room heaters anything else than the nature okay nature kudrat jo hai wo aapko se room temperature tak ki hi sahuliyat deta hai otherwise you need to uh, take something else into consideration like refrigeration for cooling down and heating uh, for heating you need to go for boilers okay what's next the question i have a question for you if a cup of coffee and a red popsicle you know what is popsicle popsicle matlab aapne wo jo ice cream khai hogi jisme ek dandi si hoti hai that is called a popsicle red popsicle matlab lal color ki ice cream suppose if a cup of coffee 
and a red popsicle were left on the table in this room. It's a very important question and this question related to the previous slide that I've just shown you. If a cup of coffee and a red popsicle were left on the table in this room, what would happen to them and why? Okay, so what do you think? What would happen to them? And then let's see. The cup of coffee will cool until it reaches the room temperature. As I have already told you, the cup of coffee will not cool down below the room temperature as you have not deployed or as you have not used any refrigeration technique. Okay, so in a nature, it will only come down to the room temperature and the popsicle will melt and then the liquid will warm to the room uh, to the room temperature and as we all know ki agar aap ice cream rakhte hain it will definitely melt okay because the heat transfer has to take place from room temperature to the popsicle temperature and popsicle is frozen so it has got lesser temperature room temperature is higher than the popsicle temperature so therefore heat will flow from hotter object to colder object and here the room is the hotter object and the popsicle is the colder object so when the heat penetrates into the popsicle the popsicle melts okay and then that melted popsicle or you can say uh, that solution or uh, that particular liquid the flavored liquid will now be warmed to the room temperature because you cannot go beyond it because you do not have any room heater or boilers or whatever any heating source which can elevate the temperature from room uh, from room temperature to the other level okay next now we have already told you i have already told you about the heat transfer methods right so heat transfer methods are basically three we all know that first of all the conduction the convection the radiation now we will see uh, in good animation okay so what is conduction how it occurs what is convection how it occurs and what is radiation how it occurs okay so let's can you see this it's a very lovely animation see if i'm pointing this heat out if i'm saying this is my heat source okay if this is my heat source it is burning and you can see these lattices these are basically atoms okay so these atoms are actually vibrating okay why it is happening so please try to understand this these atoms these lattices has extra electrons okay those extra electrons in electrical circuit carries charges in coulombs and in heat they uh, in uh, in heat circuit they carry heat okay so we need to have extra electrons metals do have extra electrons so those are the carriers of charge as well as heat okay so here you can see that this uh, there is a fire and suppose if this is a metallic bar and these gray balls th those are jumping here are basically carbon atom okay so when this is being heated up the electrons are actually jumping from higher from higher shell to the lower shell then again the heat is falling on that particular atom and then it is actually uh, the the last electron is actually gaining that uh, energy and is again jumping from this atom to this atom and the same thing is happening from this end to this end okay so suppose if this is point a so energy picked up by one last electron that is the unstable electron or the electron that is in the unstable shell okay is being picked up from here and it is constantly changing its motion and it is getting transferred from point a to point b okay so this is how conduction happens see if you can see this as you heat the metal the particles vibrate these vibrations make the adjacent particles vibrate and so on and so on the vibrations are the metal and so is the heat what we call this we call this as we call this as conduction something we call this as conduction okay so uh, this is something you should be knowing that how the conduction occurs